my home. Well, today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm, of course, going to review this cute wig, but I'm going to do a collaboration on it. And I'm doing it with my friend Amy, and her channel is Amy on Wigs. I'll link it below. If you haven't subscribed to her channel, will you run over there and do that? She's such a sweet lady and has such good, honest, thorough wig reviews. She is an educator, and so she just has such a great way of explaining things and um, just has a great channel. So be sure to subscribe to her. So we talked about it and we thought, well, you know, we both love this wig. So let's show two different women jazz on the same, jazz, the same wig on two ladies and that have completely different coloring. She's darker complected than I am. I'm very fair. She's very petite. I'm certainly not very petite, you know, and just show you two different colors and how the same wig can look completely different on two different people and how you can make it your own. So that was kind of our idea of what we do with this. So again, uh, this is John Renault Jazz and I have her in mono top in color 12 FS8 shaded praline and Amy's going to show, show you this same wig but not in a mono top. So you kind of see if you can even tell a difference. So okay Jazz, one of my go-to wigs. I wear this at least three or four times a week. I wear it all the time. It is my comfort zone. It is what I like in a wig. It is short. It is textured. I can get my hands in it and really, really get a lot of texture and body out of this if I want to. Let me show you all around. I love the back. I love these flippy layers, tons and tons of layers. I, I wore a collar so I can show you it doesn't rub on my collar in any way. It has a great make. It's just a shake and go out of the box wig. Now let's look at this color. Creamy, uh, shaded praline, of course, probably very used to that color, most people. This wig comes in over 30 shades. There's something for everybody, right? I love shaded praline. I like the medium golden blonde and the light golden brown, and it has some platinum highlights as well. You're hearing my little dog. She's barking a little bit. Yikes. So, anyway, I like that. I want to compare it to I have a Renee of Paris in Creamy Toffee. So let's just look at the difference. Now this is a comparable wig. I interchange these a lot. Uh, this is Coco and it's just as cute as it can be. But now, and look at this color. Creamy Toffee, light brown, medium golden blonde. Same, very, very similar. Very, very similar. Okay, let me slip out of this and uh, I want to show you the cap construction. Okay, so I slipped into my Renee of Paris and it is very similar, right, to Jazz. Like I said, I do, I interchange these a lot. So let's look at the cap construction of Jazz. 100% hand tied mono top. That's beautiful, beautifully done. No lace front. Permatease lives right there. There is a little permatease in here, in my opinion, just the right amount. Open wefting in the back. Nice stretch. Open ear tabs, good if you wear glasses, if you like that. I personally don't use those, but I'm sure there are people who love them and do. Felt nape with the Velcro adjusters. It's beautifully constructed. You can really get a look at this color again with all those beautiful highlights. It really is a nice shade. And I can see why it is one of John Renault's best shades, most popular shades. Okay, I'll slip back into it and we'll do a little styling. Okay, back into jazz. Okay, first things first, how do my glasses fit with it? They're great, no problem at all. I wear my glasses on top of my head all day. I always try to see how that's gonna work. Feels good, not a problem. You know, I think there's a myth that you can't do any kind of styling with short wigs, but I don't agree with that at all. I think you can change the short wigs up, make them look different, dress them up, dress them down, just like you can a longer wig. And one way I always do that is with, of course, as you know, a headband. It's not a huge change, but it's something different, especially if you have uh, only a couple wigs and you have to change them up every day and you want to wear something. You just don't want it to look the same every day. Throw a headband on it. It can change it up. It makes it really different. 
These are so cute, these headbands, I love them. If you've never tried these square headbands, you might wanna give them a try. They are really lovely. They come in a ton of shades. They fold down very easily. The ones I have, of course, have bling on them, but you don't have to have that. The inside teeth, now these teeth do not dig into your head or ruin your wig or anything, they're perfect. These are seriously just like a pair of sunglasses. That's what I think I like about them. You can just easily slip them on. They fit on your head like a pair of sunglasses. They do not dig into your head in any way. And I appreciate that and like that as well. So they're a good option. Also, I always like a clip. I clip everything, I like to. If I don't, if I just wanna clip these bangs back, I can do that with a clip. Now I realize this doesn't have a lace front, but I don't need it. I can just pull a little hair down there, put a cute clip in it. I like that. You can also put a sparkly clip in this and wear this at night. Would just dress it up and be nice. You could do it on both sides, put two clips in it, dress it up that way. There's a lot you can do with this. This is just a good short shag every day. You can't go wrong. So that's my review of Jazz. And don't forget, please subscribe to my channel and go over to my friend Amy at Amy on Wigs and subscribe to hers as well. And we'll be back with more wig reviews later.